Well, today marked a first at the International Space Station. A Russian actress, her director, cameraman, and a veteran cosmonaut successfully docked at the ISS, setting the stage for an out-of-this-world movie shoot. That's right, movie shoot. We're also seeing the conclusion of the Netflix documentary on the Inspiration mission, the all-civilian crew that launched to space last month from the Space Coast. Now, the final episode is out, and it shows what these four regular people, regular people did during their three day stay in space. It's also making people debate, should the four of them earn their astronaut wings for this flight? News 6's Eric Von Anken is at Kennedy Space Center tonight looking at what it takes and if the crew accomplished it. Fewer than 600 people have been to space and earned their astronaut wings. It's very prestigious and usually reserved for career astronauts. But these Inspiration4 crew members did a whole lot of what astronauts typically do. But is it enough? While I was in the cupola, I had my hair all big and crazy, and I took a picture of me holding a bald photo from when I was in treatment. The four crew members did some experiments during their three days in space last month, and as we see in the latest episode of the Netflix documentary that followed the mission from the beginning, the four civilians also had fun. They flew higher than any other humans in the 21st century, more than 350 miles above the Earth. That's higher than the International Space Station. 600. Copy 600. And they trained for seven months to learn to communicate with SpaceX Mission Control and take over the spacecraft in an emergency. 200, we're breaking. It was just about as much training as any astronaut would get if one were not visiting the space station, which the Inspiration4 crew did not. Dragon, SpaceX sees splashdown and base release. So then, does that make the four of them astronauts? It depends on who you ask. Lots of people and organizations are weighing in right now, but only one of them has the official say, the FAA. The Federal Aviation Administration just updated its commercial space astronaut wings requirements. There are now three criteria. Meet the requirements for flight crew qualifications and training. Demonstrated flight beyond 50 statute miles above the Earth and demonstrated activities during flight essential to public safety or human in space flight safety. Whether the Inspiration4 crew did all of that, the FAA will have to decide. And before that, SpaceX has to nominate those four crew members to the FAA. So I asked the FAA, have they gotten an application from SpaceX? Their answer to me, we'll let SpaceX speak for themselves. Well, so far SpaceX is not speaking and neither is the FAA, so we'll keep asking. And by the way, I should tell you, SpaceX can give informal wings to these four crew members, which they did and the FAA can give honorary wings to these four crew members. So a lot to this, we'll stay on top of it. For now at the Kennedy Space Center, Eric Von Agen getting results, there's six. Okay, there was a, a big <laughs> debate during that whole story <laughs> about honorary. if they- Honorary wings, give them that. Yes. I'm just saying they trained for several months but to go months. and- it's Other like, astronauts train their whole lives. Their whole lives. Come on, I don't know. Speaking, Let's agree to disagree. Yes, we will. We'll argue about this in the commercial breaks. <laughs>